Now this one is a little harder. It still has three terms, but notice that the first term is a 6 instead of a 1 in front of it. This one is a little harder because you have to go through a few more steps. In this one, we will do something called the AC method. The AC method represents the fact that the first coefficient in anything that's quadratic, we label it A, and the last one we label it C. So in using the AC method, what we will do is we will multiply the A and the C and get minus 18. Factors of minus 18 that add up to 7 are what we're going to use. Factors of minus 18 that add up to 7 would be 9 and negative 2. Now in the last problem, we just stuck those problems, those numbers, into a set of parentheses. In this one, we will rewrite our problem using those two numbers in that spot. So we will have 6x squared plus 9x minus 2x minus 3. Now if you notice, now this problem has four terms in it. And when we did our video on grouping, we said that every time we see four terms, we should think grouping. So we're going to group the first group and the second group. In the first group, we have a common term of 3x. When we pull that out, we have 2x left over. 3x goes into 9 three times. We pull down our subtraction sign. In this group, we have nothing in common. When there's nothing in common, we put a 1 as a placeholder. 1, negative 1 goes into negative 2x, positive 2x times, and negative 1 goes into negative 3, positive 3 times. Notice these two are the same. They're our common term. So we pull that out. We have left over 3x minus 1. That's the answer to our problem. And if we multiply that out, we will get what we started with originally. Just remember that if there is a number in the front, we must use the AC method.